What's up team? Today I'm here to talk to you about our split squat, our main unilateral or single leg exercise that we do to train the lower body. We know there's so much importance to the split squat and that's why we love to train it. We're on today I'm going to show us the setup for the split squat, the key points we want to check in on the setup. I'm going to show us how we progress the split squat from body weight to goblet to suitcase, right? And I'm going to make sure that we're looking at this yoga mat or setup that we could use in the parking lot that I think is really helpful. And I'll show you all that here on this video. Take a look. Set up for my split squat. The big points I want to check in on is that I'm digging in the back toes. My knee is under my hips. And my front leg is at a place where there's a bit of an angle to my front shin, right? From this position, I want to think hands can either be behind my head or out to the side. I want to put a slight hinge in the hips, almost like I'm bowing towards the front leg. If I have my hands over behind my head, it's a lot easier for me to think about maintaining good posture as I do that slight bow. So I don't want to think about rounding forward. I want to maintain that good posture, tight and braced, right? So I'm not arching, tight and braced, good bow, squeeze my butt, drive up through that front leg, Keep that little bit of a slight bend in that front knee. I don't want to lock up my joints and rock back. So keep that little bit of a slight bend and then control back down. A lot of times when people might mention their back knee hurting or their front knee hurting, they might be too upright or in a really extended position, right? Or maybe they have this way here. So once again, we want to think underneath, foot a little bit closer with that forward angle of the shin. Good posture. Braced, slight hinge, and by hinging, this really takes the load off this back leg, helps me feel a little bit more of the load in my front leg. I squeeze my butt to create that tension, and I drive up tall, keeping that slight bend in the knee, and I come back down. All right, so this is a really nice setup for folding my yoga mat. This could be a big help outside when I'm in the parking lot, right? So think about folding that yoga mat. Gives me a good target to shoot to, sets me up in a good position. There's a couple things we can do with our split squat, right? So once we get strong in that body weight, and if we're new, stick with that body weight for a couple of weeks until we've really gained the strength, balance, control, right? After we've gained that strength, balance, and control, we wanna think about loading this exercise. So first we're gonna load in the goblet position. By loading in the goblet position, I am going to make my entire core strong, right? So it teaches me how to create some trunk stiffness, so my paraspinals, my core, everything is gonna get strong. So I wanna load in the goblet position. So here at my chest, squeezing my armpit shut, still that slight bow, I drive up, keeping that slight bend in the knee, and I can tap and control back down, right? Once I've exhausted the weight that I can hold in this position, right? So I'm talking about going up to 53, 60 pounds, right? I've seen Liz use the 70. Once I've exhausted this, that tells me that I've been able to get this strong enough, right? So then when I go to hold two weights here, my core is strong enough to do so. So I wanna load that goblet for as long as possible. When I've reached that max point, I can't hold up here anymore. I'm gonna split it up between two weights. So here in the suitcase, good slight hinge, drive it up, tap the knee, stand up nice and tall. So now I'm just suitcase loading. This might even feel a little bit easier. If I take that 60 pounds that I was holding here, I split it between two 30s, it's gonna feel a lot easier, right, than that 160 I had. So once I've gained the strength up here, I've gained the strength through here, man, I'm gonna be able to load this to the max, right? So I could go 240s, 245s. Now I'm doing an 80 to 90 pound split squat. I'm getting really strong. My lower body's getting strong, right? and I'm not putting as much load on my spine like a regular squat mic. So now what we might think of as orthopedic costs or putting less pressure and less stress on my body right over time. So we want to challenge this, we want to load it up, we want to progress this as far as we can. So thinking first, body weight, get strong here, right? Then I goblet load to the heaviest weight that I possibly can. Right? Once I'm there, I go to that suitcase and I continue to load this split squat pattern.
So once again, great movement. We love this exercise here at FitWit. Make sure we're checking in at all those finer points, digging in the toes, knees under hips, front foot slightly back so I have that forward angle of my shin. Core is braced. That slight hinge or bow is really gonna take the load off this back quad. Make sure I'm using my front leg more, and then I drive it up nice and tall. Keep that soft bend in the knee, control back down. Hope that helps.